Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I want to come at you real quick with a quick lesson on the quote-unquote land of uh, A7. So uh, the reason I got this idea is because I, uh, recently I wrote a original composition that uses some of these shapes in the land of A7. And um, if you want to hear that song or that piece that I wrote, go ahead and leave me a comment down there and I'll see if I can post it up um, online somehow. Anyway, the uh, the land of A7 is basically taking this A7 shape. It's like a regular A major chord. We're going to take the first finger off. That's A7. And I'm basically manipulating the shape. And I'm using it in my benefit to uh, play. It's basically... A7 all the way through the neck. The reason I call it land of A7 is because I'm moving all the way up and down the neck and it's basically the same chord, a little bit variant. But uh, basically here's the shape. We're gonna take the regular A7 chord and we're gonna move up to this shape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, if I'm playing A7 like this with my my uh, middle finger, my ring finger, I'm gonna move this shape up here. My first finger is gonna grab the B string on the third fret and my middle finger would grab the fourth fret of the D string. So that's the shape there. You can play it this way as well, but I prefer it that way. And then I also move that up again. Oops. And then I'm going to take the same A7 shape down here, but I'm going to move it at the 5th fret. So, so far I have... Fingers are not changing at all. I'm going to stay on the D and B string the whole entire time. And I'm going to move that shape up to the 7th fret. So, so far I have... And I'm going to take this same exact shape that I had down here, but now I'm going to move it up between 8 and 9. So 7, 8 and 9. So now I'm on the 9th fret of the D string, 8th fret of the B string. Gonna move that shape up a whole step again. Then 12th fret, A7 shape, and then I'm gonna move that up a whole step again, and then I'm back to A7, but just an octave higher. So I'm gonna call it the name of the frets here. So two, four and three, five, seven, nine and eight, 11 and, uh, 11 and 10, 12, and then octave. So the reason I think these shapes are really cool is because, um, say you're doing some kind of blues vibe where you're doing like, uh, let's see, an A blues. That's why that shape's really cool because instead of just doing like a boogie, you can go back and forth. And it kind of adds a different tonality of color even though it's all A7. So that was kind of my uh, my idea there. Like I said, I wrote a original composition using these shapes, and I uh, figured that I might as well show it to you guys. So do what you will with it, and I hope you got something out of it. I know it was kind of just a quick little chordal idea, but it just came to me when I was, like I said, I wrote a original song using those chords and uh, those are actually really common actually but really
really common chords that are used very frequently. So like I said, if you guys want to see that original song or whatever, just leave me a comment down there. I'll see if I can upload it somehow with the lyrics as well as the chord progression or well, or I could just probably play it in front of camera and sing it as well. But uh, like I said, I hope you guys get something out of it and uh, do what you will with it and I'll see you guys next time.